town behind the traffic in the street on the moor you'll find there's grass beneath your feet the story so far out of the van Debbie and Kieran had followed Mick's motorbike tracks to the meeting place by the lake. But just as they'd been about to let the ponies go, Barker and Deal had grabbed them. They took them right around the lake to a little hut. <laughs> Excellent. By the time they get out of there, we'll be on our way to France. Norman had hurt his ankle and was following more slowly. He'd lost the track. Mick was angry. He was waiting for Barker and Deal. Barker was very pleased. Mick had done a good job for him. Ah, Mick. Mick, splendid chap. You found us some excellent ponies. Look, Mr. Barker, there's something I want to ask you. Ah, uh, of course. Anything you like, my dear chap, but uh, do hurry up, eh? Big Van should be here in a minute, and you can help us load them in. What's going to happen to the ponies? Oh, you don't want to bother about that. You've done your job. I want a straight answer. Someone told me they go for horse meat. Really? Who told you that? It doesn't matter. Is it true? Well, yes. Yes, it is, Mick. It's, it's very sad, but there it is. But you told me you'd sell them for riding ponies. Oh, money, mate. <laughs> right, I'm gonna let him go then. Burn up, try, son. Or you'll get this. Mick couldn't fight the two men on his own. He needed to get help. I'll be back. You won't get away with this. Upset him, Mr. Deal. I think we have. <laughs> what a shame. <laughs> think he'll go to the police? Nah, not him. He's the one who caught the ponies for us, isn't he? He'd be in trouble if he went to the police now. He can't do anything about it. <laughs> <laughs> there was only one person who could help now. Norman was still lost. Very well, this trekking. But there aren't any tracks anymore. Wish I had a map with me. Never mind. I'll be in the paper yet. Brave boy rescues ponies. Except I don't know where I am. I'm lost again. Don't panic, Norman. Let's go this way. Oh, great! There's a hut. Maybe someone's there. Maybe they've seen the pony rustlers. Oh, my ankle. Hello? Excuse me? Anybody in? Yeah, Ralph! Lester! Who are you? Debbie and Karen. Who just think? Oh, come on, Norman. What you doing in there? Norman, that was brilliant finding us like that. How did you know where to look? I know what's what, that's all. Who shot you in? Barker and Dill. We found the ponies, but they found us. Just as we was letting them go. And they're right on the other side of the lake now. And the badger man went to the wrong place. They're going to get away with it now. And poor ponies. We've just got to find a way of getting across that lake again somehow. Maybe if we ran really fast, we could get round the lake in time. Oh, but Kieran, it smiles. I know what we can do. Look down there. There's a rowing boat. How brilliant! But I can't row. Neither can I. Oh, I can row. I've got a book about boats. I know what's what. Come on. Hello. Remember this? Mick's bike. It's a motorbike, and he can go very fast on it. 
<laughs> Hello, word watchers. I know another word that means to go very fast. Do you know the word I'm thinking of? Race. <laughs> that means go very fast. And Mick needs to race to the right place. Oh, Mick needs to race to the right place. <laughs> Rhyming words. And look, they're magic E words. Let's take the E's off. Ah, oh, they do look funny. Rack and plaque. And look at these. Cap and tap. Now, press the magic E button. Two new words, cape and tape. It really is like magic, isn't it? You need me, I'm Magic E. Magic, Magic E. Magic, Magic E. Tap becomes cape with me. Tap becomes tape with me. Hear what you do with me. Add Magic, Magic E. Magic, Magic E. Words change around with me when they are found with me. Hear how they sound with me. I'm Magic, Magic E. Magic, Magic E. Can becomes cane with me. A man has a mane with me. Hear what you do with me. Add Magic, Magic E. Magic, Magic E. Words change around with me when they are found with me. Hear how they sound with me. I'm Magic, Magic E. Magic, Magic E. Ha-ha! <laughs> that Magic E's on its way again, Word Watchers. Let's hear those missing words. Magic, Magic E. Magic, Magic E. Tap becomes with me. Tap becomes with me hear what you do with me add magic magic e magic magic e can becomes with me a man has a with me hear what you do with me add magic magic e magic magic e words change around with me when they are found with me Hear how they sound with me, I'm Magic, Magic E. Magic, Magic E. I want to know whether the children will take the boat on the lake. Wait and see. I'm going to make some coffee before any children get here. I hope this tap doesn't become a tape. Oh, what's that? Is it a beetle? No, it's bigger. Ooh, is it a spider? Even bigger. Oh, is it the beast? Not in the least. I think it's an old tea bag. <laughs> it's late. And getting later. It's dark. And getting darker. What's that? It's getting nearer. Is it a dog? No, it's bigger. Is it a goat? Even bigger. Is it a beast? Not in the least. It's Super Badger. You'll know who it is next time, won't you? <laughs> Sing the missing words. It's late. And getting... It's dark. And getting... What's that? It's getting... Is it a dog? No, it's... Is it a goat? Even... Is it a beast? Not in the least. It's Super Badger! Come in, do. I can't open it. Oh, sorry. Oh, I forgot. I put the bolt on. Well, honestly, Barney, fancy putting please knock and then bolting the door. All right, all right. No need to get angry. I've said I'm sorry. Now, don't go. I'm feeling much more friendly today. 
I suppose it must get very lonely sometimes, living here all on your own. Well, it does a bit, but owls do live on their own in the wild, you know. Oh, do they? Oh, they're not like badgers, then. But you are both nocturnal, aren't you? You do both hunt for your food at night. Yes, yes, in the dark. Seen any mice in here? No, no, no mice. Let's get back to badgers, shall we? Well, if you must. Badgers normally live in groups. Several adults and their cubs sharing the same set and the same territory, which they will defend against other badgers who try to move in. Here, two males are fighting over who owns the chamber, while a female watches but keeps out of the way. There's no harm done, but one badger is driven off. Badgers choose a mate and stay together for life. Most years, one or two cubs, sometimes more, are born in a chamber which the mother has prepared with clean straw. They come above ground after about 12 weeks. These cubs are quite a bit older, but like any young animals, they still enjoy a good rough and tumble. This cub is still taking mother's milk. Adult badgers are very wary of being above ground with their cubs during daylight, and a play session may suddenly come to an end. Oh, having trouble with Barney? Yes, he's in a funny mood, as usual. First I knocked. Then I shouted, but he'd bolted the door. Oh, what happened then? Oh, he opened it. Cool. What a lot of ED words. Bill the Bricky be pleased at how we built so many words with ED. Let's have the song, Jane. Why don't you build yourself a word? Build yourself a word with ED. To say it's happened. Take knock at ED. Build yourself a word all together now. Knocked, knocked. Take happen at ED. Build yourself a word all together now. Happened, happened. Why don't you build yourself a word? Build yourself a word with ED. To say it's happened. Wouldn't it be simple if you could put ED on the end of any word to show it's happened? Like, Mick rided his bike. <laughs> yes. Well, what should it be, word watchers? Mick rode his bike. Hey, listen. Mick rode his bike along the road. Well, road and road. They sound the same, but they're spelled differently. I can think of another. Norman rode the boat. Ha-ha! <laughs> rode, rode and rode. <laughs> I wonder if the word watchers can think of any more sets of words that are spelt differently but sound the same. Oh, you could be in trouble if you use the wrong one. Yes, but they're very good for jokes. Listen, where do you weigh whales? I don't know, Jane. Where do you weigh whales? At a whaleway station. Oh, pooey, ooey, ooey. I've got a very good idea. What's that? Let's read some more of the story. Uh, All right. Let's see what's happened. Thing you do in a boat is put your life jacket on. Oh, no, there aren't 
Ellie, come on, let's get going. Under the seat. That's where they normally are. Oh, yeah. I know what's what. Right, cast off, Kira. Do what? Untie that rope. Right, off we go. Straight down the other side. While the children were on the lake, Mick was riding as fast as he could to the Badgerman's hut. He raced up to him on his bike, all out of breath. Quick, you gotta help. Gang of pony rustlers in the wood by the lake. I went with the police to cross Tor this morning, no one there. You went to the wrong place. The ponies are in the wood by the lake. I brought them there myself, I should know. Did you? Then why aren't you helping the pony rustlers now? I'm finished with them. They told me it was riding ponies. They wanted them for horse meat all the time. Look, that's the honest truth. You've got to help. Get the police again. Come as quick as you can. Look, where exactly? The little wood, the other side of the lake. You'll see. Right. <laughs> was enjoying himself on the lake. Hey, Norman, you really can row a boat. Of course I can. Did you really learn it out of a book? No, my dad taught me, actually. But I have got a book about it. side of the lake, the pony rustlers were ready. Be glad when we can get away from here. Listen, here's the van now. All right, better get started. Yes, pity we haven't got Mick here to help. He's so good with ponies. Come on, come on, beauty. Ow! Yeah. <laughs> Didn't you better leave this to me and the lads in the van, Mr. Barker? Yeah. Don't think you're cut out for this kind of work. Very nearby now, but would he see them? 